I hear this a lot, and I understand. Fan is short for fanatic. People go to games, pay money, love their team, love their city. But I hear this a lot. Well, I mean, New England has feasted on a lame division. That's a real break. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. But do you realize every current dynasty got a huge break or they would not be a dynasty? Think about Nick Saban. This is a 10-year dynasty. Tennessee football, top 12 program, been a disaster. LSU can't get an elite coach. Either can rival Auburn. Until recently, Georgia was a mess. And Florida just now got the right coach. If Nick Saban was facing an elite coach at any one of those schools annually for the last 10 years, they're not getting out of the SEC. They're probably still winning 10 and 11 games, but Florida's been a dumpster fire. Tennessee's been a dumpster fire. LSU, Auburn can't get a world-class coach. Georgia just got one finally after eight years of Nick kicking their butt. That's not to say that Alabama wouldn't be great. You wouldn't have this dynasty. Let's talk about the Golden State dynasty. They got a huge break. Steph Curry got hurt very early in his career, and he signed a skimpy contract, tiny contract, a good player contract. He instantly, next year, becomes MVP. The contract allows them to fortify their bench, keep Draymond and Clay and add Kevin Durant. You do realize pre-Durant, they lost in the finals. You do not have that dynasty without Steph Curry's injury. The Troy Aikman, Jimmy Johnson, Cowboy dynasty. Oh, they'd have won games. They'd have been good. But the New York Giants and Bill Parcells, they were good in that division, better than Dallas. Bill Parcells left. Ray Handley took over. They became one of the worst coach teams in the league. And Joe Gibbs was making Washington a power in the NFL. He retired. They hired Richie Pettibone to Norv Turner. They've since never recovered. If Bill Parcells and Joe Gibbs are going toe-to-toe with Jimmy for years, he's not getting out of that division every year. And if he is, he's beat up. He doesn't have home field. He's losing too many games in division. Look at the Spurs dynasty. There was a big break. Shaq and Kobe... Phil Jackson, you had the two best closers in the league, the best coach, and at the time, the Lakers were the number one free agency brand. Tim Duncan and the Spurs do not ever have a dynasty. First three years, they're winning titles. They get along. Del Harris years, they get along. Then they get a divorce. And then the Spurs dynasty starts with Tim Duncan. When Kobe and Shaq had won three straight, Kobe still had six prime years left. Shaq about four. Those are just the prime years. They still had the best coach. They were the number one brand in the NBA for free agents. Saban, Cowboys, Spurs. Those dynasties got huge breaks. Or they're just really, really good teams that win a championship like the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, The Patriots have feasted on the Bills, Jets, and the Miami Dolphins' dysfunction. And every, every dynasty needs a big break or two. Michael Jordan's didn't start until the Pistons got old. Until Larry Bird's leg fell apart. They weren't beating those teams before. I wouldn't consider that a break, but it should be noted. Michael Jordan's legacy and dynasty elevated when the Pistons and Celtics simply got old. Couldn't beat them before that. Now, I don't classify that as a break like the Spurs got with a Shaq-Kobe divorce, Saban with the dysfunction in the SEC, or Steph Curry rolling his ankle, allowing them to build this monster roster. But before you put too much into the Patriots dynasty just curling up and dying, they would be hosting Kansas City this weekend because they had the tiebreaker, beat them early in the year. They would be hosting Kansas City and be beating Kansas City this weekend, if not for an incredibly bad break. Gronk on the field, on a Hail Mary, and a Gronk, of course, is the NFL's worst safety. 
If not for that implausible, inexplicable finish, the Patriots would be hosting the AFC Championship and favored over Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. All right, let's shift gears to this.